What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wes back at you with another video. And tonight is WrestleMania Night 2. Last night, WrestleMania Night 1 was an incredible show. Well, we had a lot of really good matches, decent amount of surprises, uh, cool celebrity appearances all around. But that night deserves its own review in a separate video. And this is a WrestleMania Night 2 prediction. So without further ado, we're going to get right to it. Starting off with my predictions, I'm going to go over what I think is going to happen in the Women's Showcase match. Uh, we got Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler going against the team of Natalia and Shachi Blackheart against the team of Liv Morgan and Raquel against the team of Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. Same as the Men's Showcase match, Fatal 4-Way, Four Corners type tag team match. Again... Not a match that a lot of people really uh, put too much stock into, but, you know, it could be a fun match. A lot of people involved. Hopefully, it can be a car crash similar to last night's match. But overall, I got Raquel and Shayna Baszler going over, and I think eventually this will lead to them becoming tag team champions where they will run rough shot over the women's division and, you know, hopefully lead to some solid storylines. But yeah, ultimately, I got the team of Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Taking the dub. Next up on the list, we have Sheamus versus Gunther versus Drew McIntyre in an Intercontinental Championship match. Now, I think this will be an absolute banger. Um, it's going on my match of the night alert. I feel like this match right here could just really just overall steal the show. Every time you pair Sheamus and Gunther together, it's always just a banger, man. Those two guys just have great chemistry. It's always a brutal slugfest between those two. Two big powerhouses, heavy hitters. And then they're adding another guy who is cut from the same cloth and drew McIntyre to the mix, which will only make it better. As we know, triple threat, threat rules are no disqualification, so who knows? They could you know, bring weapons out, add another element to the match. It's just so many different possibilities going into it that it's just, it's just primed for a great performance from these men. In my opinion, uh, I feel like they are leading this up to be Sheamus' moment. He is a man that has won literally every single championship in the WWE except for the Intercontinental title. That's the one title that's eluded him. He's been WWE champ, world heavyweight champ. He has been tag team champ, United States champ, you name it. He's done it all except for the Intercontinental title. And what better way to put the title on him at WrestleMania? I think he's going to go over Drew McIntyre. I think Drew McIntyre is going to take the pin so Gunther can look strong and eventually challenge for the WWE Universal Championship or whatever the title will be named by then. I feel like they'll have the belt split up by the time, uh, sometime soon after WrestleMania. Rumors are they already have a belt design linked in for the new belt, so we shall see. But yeah, I got Sheamus winning his first ever Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. Also, tidbit, uh, Lashley, Bobby Lashley, who won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal on SmackDown, is issuing an open challenge at WrestleMania. I'm not really sure who's going to answer it. I saw on Twitter, KSI said that he would love to challenge Bobby Lashley. But honestly, I don't think that's going to happen. I can't see KSI coming out, getting beat up just for someone else to come and answer the challenge. I can see it being LA Knight just because I have no idea who else it would be. His opponent was supposed to be Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt got injured, so, I mean, that sucks. But, yeah, man, um, Bobby Lashley, open challenge. I can see it being LA Knight, but I'm not really sure. Uh, imagine if it was, like, Stone Cold or somebody that would be crazy. But I don't think WWE wants to have Bobby Lashley, you know, get beat up by, you know, a legend or anything like that. He's kind of one of their major top guys at this moment, so... I can just see Bobby Lashley, you know, going against LA Knight in an impromptu match. Next, we have Bianca Belair versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. The past two years back-to-back, -back, Bianca has put on great performances at WrestleMania against Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks. She's won both times, so her WrestleMania uh, credibility is, you know, it's off to a fast track, fast start. She's been champion for almost a year now. Asuka, on the other hand, uh, WrestleMania has been her kryptonite. Despite Asuka winning pretty much every accolade there is to win in the women's division, she has not been able to get that all-elusive WrestleMania win. I think now is her time, though. I can see Asuka pulling out the win. Not sure how good the match to be will be. It has the potential to be really great, especially if they give these women enough time to do their work. 
Uh, they haven't had too much time to wrestle against each other, but they have wrestled against each other before. So, you know, their chemistry isn't quite proven, but, I mean, you got two of the top women in the division going at it. I expect great things. Like I said, I think Asuka is going to take the victory here, get her first WrestleMania win, become Raw Women's Champion, dethrone Bianca Belair, and I think after that, Bianca Belair is going to move under the SmackDown, and hopefully she turns heel. Because I miss heel Bianca Belair in NXT. She was awesome. Next up, we have Brock Lesnar versus the Giants of the WWE. Almost, and I'm going to be pretty honest with you guys. I don't think this match is going to be all that too great. Brock Lesnar, as we know, is one of the greatest performers in WWE history. But he is also kind of a lazy guy, if we're being honest. Brock's kind of a lazy guy. And he doesn't, you know, work too well with others. A guy like Omos, I don't think Brock, that fits Brock's, like, you know, chemistry mold. He's not really good at working with bigger guys like that. At least in recent years, he's not. Most of his great matches have come with working with smaller, more athletic type uh, personnel in the WWE. But overall, I'm not going to lie. This match has me a little stumped. But I can see Brock Lesnar taking the win, honestly, over almost hitting a massive F5 for a good visual. Hopefully, the match doesn't last too long. Hopefully, it's like a sprint, you know, because, like I said, almost he's just not there yet in his in-ring match ability. Hopefully, he surprises us. Who knows? I doubt it. But, yeah, I got Brock Lesnar taking this win uh, at WrestleMania. Next up, we have Edge versus the Demon Finn Balor inside Hell in a cell and this match is a match that is long time coming uh it's been building up for the past year judgment day and edge have been going at it they had the i quit match uh they took edge out for a little bit they had the match at uh saudi arabia and i mean in the uk clash at the castle they had the match at elimination chamber edge and beth phoenix versus Rhea and finn balor so it was all coming into a head inside hell in a cell a place where edge has done some of his best work. His match with The Undertaker is one of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time. And as far as the recent era Hell in a Cell matches go, which haven't been too great, him and Seth Rollins had a top banger at Saudi Arabia. So I expect him and Finn Balor to do nothing but the same and have another stellar Hell in a Cell match. But with Finn Balor bringing out the Demon, being the younger talent, Needing the win more, I got Finn Balor taking out the veteran Edge inside Hell in the Cell. But if I'm being honest, I can definitely see Edge taking it. But my prediction is I'm going with Finn Balor to take Edge out. And I just think it's going to be an amazing match. If this, uh, if Sheamus, Gunther, and Drew is a match of the night, I can expect this to be. I mean, Bianca Belair versus Asuka is another contender as well. But um, I, I think that Edge versus Finn Balor has a greater chance of stealing the show. And, yeah, I got Finn Balor taking out Edge in an absolute war of a match. Last, but certainly not least, we have the WWE Universal Championship match. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, the undisputed champion going against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, in what I think is going to be a phenomenal main event. Um, you know, if it was up to me, I'm not going to lie. I would have added Sami Zayn into this match, WrestleMania 20 style type type of deal. I think he deserved it. I think he was MVP of the year, but we're not going to, uh, you know, cry over spilt milk and Roman Reigns versus Cody is still an amazing match. A great storyline. Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble after being out with the injury where he wrestled Seth Rollins with a torn pectoral muscle inside Hell in the Cell. Cody Rhodes, man, a long journey. You know, he was in the WWE for years, a veteran, had some success, then got stuck with a gimmick that a lot of fans thought he did not deserve, left WWE, went on the indie scene, went to New Japan, had an incredible outside WWE career, and then he started his own company, AEW, which everybody knows what it is by now, the second biggest company in North America, weekly shows, Wednesday nights. And then he left the company that he started because he had unfinished business and his goal was to do this not only for him but for his father. R.I.P. Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, absolute legend, 
one of the best ever, to come in and win the WWE Championship. And it's all come down to this against Roman Reigns, the final boss. The man who has held the championship for over 900 days. Something that hasn't been seen in the days of like Hulk Hogan, Bruno San Martino, you name it. With all that being said, I think Cody Rhodes will be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns and end night two on top of the world. And he will finally take his throne at the top of the company and become the new guy for the WWE. Those were my WrestleMania predictions. Guys, if you liked the video, if you've made it this far, make sure you leave a like. It really helps the channel. Make sure you comment what you think is going to happen at WrestleMania. And subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any more of your boys' videos. The channel is slowly but steadily growing, and I think we are all creating something great here. But yeah, those are my WrestleMania predictions for night two. Again, let me know what you guys think, and I am out. Peace, and all of you have a wonderful day.